We welcome to the show the real Torres of Crawley Town Football Club, Sergio Torres. Hi, good evening. So you have a big game on Sunday, some say the biggest in Crawley's history against Stoke in the fifth round of the FA Cup. How have you been preparing for the match? Uh, well, to be fair, we, we had a game last night and uh, well, after after that game we, we just started thinking on the FA Cup, but we very disappointed result. We lost last night and... Uh, uh, you know the the league is the main the main thing for us. But now we're just uh, thinking about uh, the FA Cup and this. Uh, yeah, it's one of the biggest uh, game in the history of the club. Uh, after last year, Man United away, I think was the biggest one, and this one is is going to be up there because uh, you know some people are going to th- are going to think that we got a chance, and I, I honestly think we we have a chance of progressing, which uh, will be amazing for the whole town, the whole. Uh, the whole, the whole club, you know. It would be, and as you mentioned, you're at home at the Broadfield. Does this give you an advantage because of the great support you will receive? Oh, definitely, definitely. The fans have been brilliant like uh, with us the whole season, and even last year, uh, you know, we got a really good record at home, um, and people don't, uh, clubs don't fancy coming to, to the Broadfield because it's, it's quite a compact ground, and our fans like, are really loud, and uh, some players, you know, don't like to play uh, in, in, again in places like that. And for the for the Premier League boys, it's going to be like a shock playing for them uh, in, in a stadium like this. The you know this is small. They, they normally play against uh, probably thirty thousand people, forty thousand people. And uh, are we we are uh, all the players are looking forward, and I'm sure the the whole town is looking forward to this game. Last season you earned a place in Crawley Town folklore with an injury time goal which knocked Derby County out of the third round of the FA Cup. Is that your best moment for the Red Devils? Oh, definitely. Not only for Crawley. Uh, in my career, it was the best best feeling I ever had on a football pitch. It was just uh, amazing when, when that ball touched the net. Uh, I just I didn't know what, what to do. and just took my shirt off and I started running away. And, you know, it was... Uh, it was no, best feeling ever. Uh, all my teammates came and the game finished and all the fans ran on the pitch. Uh, I just, I mean, it was the happiest man in the world in that moment. And yeah, like you say, I think uh, my name, they're going to remember my name for, for quite a while, the, the Crowley fans, because of, of that goal. Yeah, forever, I expect. With the Cup, that's what it's all about, isn't it? It is, it is, the FA Cup. I was watching it when, when I was living back home in Argentina. Uh, you know FA Cup and all the small teams playing the big teams and it's uh, it's amazing competition and for for players like myself and uh, players who who've been involved a uh, long time in lower lower leagues it's uh, it's amazing to to be able to play against uh, against Premier League teams uh, what, what happened to us going to Old Trafford last year was it's once in a lifetime it was a dream for all of us and you know we I will never never uh, forget that day and it's just amazing competition. He was also very unlucky, wasn't he? I know, I know. We hit the ball uh, in the last minute, and um, in the second half we we give a real go. Uh, the first half we were a bit afraid of them, I think, and we let them play a bit. But in the second half we just saw well, we've got nothing to lose here, and we need to, you know, start trying to to get the equalizer. And we were close with a few shots, and but it wasn't meant to be. And uh, Man United is a great team, and but we were we were uh, we were happy with. Uh, with the how the, the day went and all the families enjoy and uh, the, the whole the whole support we we took about nine thousand ten thousand fans which uh, which is amazing yeah fantastic support and you really gave it your all so you got to be yeah definitely that. definitely they, they, you know we we get hundred percent and I remember for about two three days after I couldn't move I was just <laughs> dead in my feet we have some questions now for some Crawley fans. Barry and East Grinstead would like to know, do you have any post-match rituals or superstitions? Yes, uh, well, I always um, put my right shin pad before my left one, my right sock before the left one, my right boot before the left one, and I always, when I go on the pitch, I just jump outside uh, of the of the line with my rifle and go on the pitch with my rifle. I don't know, I, I've been doing this for Yes, rifle outside and rifle inside. You know, a little jump uh, over the line, and uh, that, I don't know. I've been doing that for for years, and and uh, yeah, I feel I feel comfortable doing it. Yeah, it's amazing how many footballers have superstitions and rituals, isn't it? 
Oh, definitely, definitely. There's players who have to wear the same pants the whole year, you know. <laughs> Which, uh, <laughs> That's yeah, a bit or, extreme. <laughs> I know, or wear, wear, wear a shirt underneath or, I don't know, do some things, you know, different things which uh, yeah it's, uh, it's crazy how it works Christina and Crawley asks who are you most friendly with in the team I got really good relation with everyone we're, we're quite close as a, as a team but um, I'm, I'm very close to George Simpson because I knew George from Peterborough and well, we always uh, room together and my girlfriend and his girlfriend they, they're really good friends as well and so we we see each other like after football as well. So, yeah, I, w- I would say Josh. You're very settled in England, aren't you? Yeah, I've been eight years now. And, well, i got I got a family. i got a little, little baby girl. and I'm living with my girlfriend. So, yeah, we very settled. I'm very happy. Living in Brighton, which is a, it's a beautiful place. It's only 20 minutes from Crawley. And enjoy uh, walking down the, down the sea from, like But they haven't got a bad football team either. I know. <laughs> uh, funny enough, Brighton was the first time I came to England. I came on trial to Brighton for, oh, for yeah. a couple of weeks. And, uh, yeah, it, it didn't seem to work at, at that time. Mark McGee said, I was a good footballer, but not strong, not quick enough for the English football. But it's how funny how life changed. And after eight years, I'm, I'm living like, back in Brighton again. And, uh, yeah, they, they got a nice club. Like, it, seems, it seems to go to go places and... I'm really hopeful for the, for the town they go they go and play in the Premier League next year. When you was growing up, who was the player you most wanted to be like? Well, to be fair, I, I didn't really have that. I just um, I was admiring a lot. Well, I watched a bit of uh, Maradona. I remember uh, he was he was amazing, and uh, I really liked Batistuta. But he was a striker, and I always I used to play in the middle, so. Um, I used to I used to love watching uh, Fernando Redondo. I don't know if you remember. He used to play for Real Madrid. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, well, I, he was class, and I used to I used to uh, love watching him. But I, I play completely different than how he plays, you know. <laughs> yeah, and just on that, who do you think's uh, the world's best player at the moment? Is it Messi or is it Ronaldo? Well, I, I think if you ask. Uh, Everyone, eighty percent would say Messi and twenty percent Ronaldo. But I will go with Messi. Being Argentinian as well, and uh, I just enjoy. I enjoy watching Barca every game, and I think he's uh, yeah he's he does things with the ball like which no other player can do, and yeah he, he's amazing. Who is the best player you've played against? Uh, oof, best player play against. Oh, that's a, that's a tough one. Uh, well, last year we played against Rooney, but to be fair, in the second half he didn't really play that well. So I was a bit disappointed. <laughs> um, <laughs> I thought you'd be happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah well, I was happy. I was happy for him to be on the pitch, but uh, like he didn't. I don't know. He didn't really play that well that 45 minutes. But um, yeah, I would say I would say Rooney because of things he's done, and I couldn't believe being in the same pitch than him and. Even fighting for the ball, uh, it was uh, yeah, crazy. Yeah, he's a very special player, isn't he? Yes, yes. What do you most like about English culture? I bet you're going to say the football, but... <laughs> I love the football. I love the way the fans love... Uh, well, it's a sport number one here. And I let the people just how much they love and follow the teams, even if it's from from the really lower team. uh I don't know, we used to have, when I was to play for Bainsister, which was Conference South, and, you know, I play away on the Tuesday night, about two, three hours ago, and you got 50, 60, uh, 60 people who follow the, the team to, to this place, and it's, it's amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, other things, uh, about the culture, I don't know, I'm, I'm okay now with the food at the beginning, I didn't really like it, but yeah, I, I got used to and I miss, I have to say, I miss a lot my uh, Argentinian steak. But, yeah, every time I go back home and in the summer, I uh, I, I always go there and stuff <laughs> and stuff myself of, uh, of meat. <laughs> so do you go uh, back there very often on a holiday? And... Well, only only in the summer, only when, when we break here, because it's, it's all 15, 16 hours flight. Uh, we don't have much time free, only, only in, uh, in June. So yeah, I'm looking forward to 
every time I go, I see all my friends and my family. I got a big family. So, yeah, looking forward to for June to come. In Argentina, who's your football team? Boca Juniors. Boca Juniors. Yeah, I knew yeah. you were going to say River Plate or Boca Juniors. I was no, not River Plate. No, no, no. I don't like uh, River Plate. Since since I was little, my dad follows Boca Juniors, big fan, and I used to love it. Yeah, it's a, it's an amazing stadium. If, if you ever have a chance to go, it's just the, the experience. The don't know the fans are crazy, absolutely crazy there. What music do you like? Uh, music, I uh, I listen to everything, but um, I like uh, bands like U2. Um, I like Aerosmith as well. Um, and then I listen to yeah R and B everything what was on the on the radio I just put the TV on and I'm not I'm not a big big fan like, of just any uh, I just listen to everything. So you like lots of different music. Yeah, lots of different music. Yeah, too. Fair. Is there anybody in Argentina you're keen on? Uh, there was a group called uh, well, Los Piojos, which I used to really like. I went to see them in concerts. It's quite a rock Argentinian rock group and. Uh, yeah, but since I'm here now, um, I got the CDs and all the music from back home here. So every now and then I just put them on and remember like the, the old days. Yeah. Well, that's the great thing about music, isn't it? It is. It is. It, it, yeah, it takes you back in the, in the time. What do you think about the whole Carlos Tevez saga? Um, it's a difficult one because uh, we don't really know w- what happened and... You know, a lot of people question him, and it's uh, it's difficult because now uh, the manager after the game he say he didn't want to play, but the truth is he didn't want to warm up because he was warming up for 20 minutes, and he said to the manager, "If you want to put me on, I'm, I'm ready to play." I just hear this interview he's done in uh, Argentinian uh, channel about two days ago, and uh, I listened the whole interview and what he's saying. Yeah, if the manager was angry with with Jacob because they were arguing and he got it with him. You know, he's got big personality and it's it's not easy to manage players like that. Um, I think, personally, I wouldn't do it, but, you know, it's just how different people react to in different situations. So it's uh, it's a difficult one to, to, to comment on something like you don't really know what, what what's the truth and what, what really happened. No, I don't think anybody does, really. If they could sort out their differences, do you think he should be in the team? Uh well, you know, he's a great player. I I really like how how he plays and he gives hundred percent everything he's been, he's been uh, give hundred percent. It's not like he's not bothered and he doesn't run. He always track back if he loses the ball. I think he's a big big player for for any team. So I really hope he start playing and it's 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 very good for the Premier League and that. Who do you think will win the Premiership? Well, it's going to be tied between uh, Man City and Man United. Um, I don't know. I hope it's Man Man City because uh, I see Man United winning quite a few times uh, over the last few years. So I like uh, I would like another team to win it. And if uh, of, from all all of the teams, I would love Spurs to win it. It's a it's a big hard, but they not they not that far behind and they play beautiful football. And I always always uh, so, well, like them the way the way they play and the club. I went to watch a few games at White Hart Lane. And uh, the atmosphere there is, is amazing, and uh, I would I would love to, to to have a chance to play there. You know, maybe Talon Cup or FA Cup one day. You might get them in the next round. I know, I know, it's crazy. If you, yeah, if you, if we be a stoke on the Sunday, we well, we'll go <laughs> more than a very good chance to to play one of the one of the big boys, and yeah, it would be amazing. Would you prefer to play away if you got through against Stoke or at home? Um, I don't know. To be fair, uh, to be fair, I, I would prefer to play away at Liverpool uh, or away at Arsenal, or away at Spurs. One of one of uh, one of these three teams. Uh, yeah, you know, being away and you think that's it's gonna be the only time that I'm gonna have I'm gonna be able to play there. Like how it happened against Man United last year. No, no, we we can speak too early because we got most most than than a hard game on on Sunday, which. Uh, going to be very tough and yeah so we we will see what happens yeah well thanks a lot for coming on the show Sergio it's been great talking to you and good luck on Sunday we're all behind you <laughs> alright no worries thanks for the call and yeah let's uh, 
let's hope we yeah we can go to the next round and which uh, will be like in the history of the club and great for for the whole town and everyone involved with Crawley Town. So we're going to give our best like every game and we hope the luck is going to be with us on Sunday. Yeah, come on, Crawley. <laughs> <laughs>